Welcome back to the forest of Norway. This is the first trip I'm actually trying since I arrived only four or five days ago. And right now I'm looking for a spot to set up a tent, testing some of my winter gear. That's the most important part about this. And I want an even spot and that's nearly all I want. And then I'm really happy if I hear some black grass in the morning, but it's late March. I'm not sure I was never in this area. Maybe I'm lucky, maybe not. Uh, it's just amazing to be out again. So uh, we have a camp now, um, which still has to be prepared a bit, but the first thing I will do is change some to some dry clothing uh, so that I don't get cold. Um, basically that's the most important thing to do. And if I'm done with all the having the gear out, having the backpack out, uh, sleeping bag, uh, then I will probably eat something if I'm not already eat a muesli bar right now but first getting into dry clothing that's really important uh, this is not really a winter tent but um, here in Trondheim it's not that cold anymore so it should work out until I have my real winter tent So this feels way better, way warmer, and I think now that we have that done, I will already start uh, to melt some water, because we obviously have to use the snow. Now we don't have the best mat or air mattress for winter camping, that stuff is coming in a while, uh, but we have a really big minus 30 degrees sleeping, uh, sleeping bag that will do the job. It's getting really dark already, so I don't know how much time I still have. Um, I will eat a soup soon uh, first. I'm filling up my thermos with water, hot water, so hopefully some of that is still warm tomorrow or at least liquid tomorrow morning. Uh, I will make some more so that it's full. Eat a tomato soup now and then later I have my main, main course. I don't know, uh, there's not really much more I can say or do um, before it gets really dark. Oh, it's just beautiful uh, having your feet 
legs inside the sleeping bag having warm water uh, and I will have dinner not too late either but I don't want to change it too much from when I normally have dinner so half an hour an hour I will have dinner you should also not eat too late uh, too early because you should have something in your stomach when you sleep and you shouldn't go cold to bed you should maybe do some exercises so that your body is warm because you're the warmer inside the sleeping bag uh, without your warmth this is not gonna work Good morning, so what we have here is gas for winter use, so this is not gonna yeah, freeze or anything because if we're talking about liquid gas, there are specific mixes that also work in minus 20, yeah, 7 degrees. And now <laughs> I basically just want, I just want breakfast, so I still have some warm water I think in my thermos, but um, it has to be, some has to be warmed up for my porridge and I think also maybe for the hot chocolate, uh, I, have to, I have to see. And I also want some uh, water obviously just to drink. <laughs> So what kept me warm this night is um, this thick minus 30 degrees expedition sleeping bag from Fjerreven. For these conditions it was maybe a bit too much but on the other hand I don't have a real good winter foam mattress and my mattress is also not insulated. So for that it's, it's good to have a big sleeping bag but for really cold conditions yeah I will get and you should get like a big foam mattress uh, and then also an air mattress that's uh, iso isolated uh, or insulated. Let me just cut in here quickly and show you something that's a bit better for winter use. I talked to a friend and he told me about the R value which is on a lot of products like foam mattresses or air mattresses and he told me for winter you should aim for an R value of at least four and I got this Thermarest insulated air mattress and this one has one of 6.9 so this one is really good for winter use in any case uh, about the foam mattresses I'm not so sure but you can see on this one here that it has a value of 2.0 which is more for three season views and not real winter foam mattress but still maybe probably better than the one that I had out there which is probably minus one or so. So you should aim for something I guess for deep winter uh, camping of at least 16 millimeters of foam mattress. These were supplied by my new sponsor Natur Company. Uh, they have everything from backpacks, clothing from Fjellreven, shoes from uh, Hanwag to yeah, food for the outdoors and sleeping for the outdoors. Uh, they are also present in other countries, for example in Germany you would find them as Globetrotter. Now back to the video. I also had like an expedition uh... I have an expedition jacket with me in any case like this is a really big down jacket that would keep me um, warm if there was any problems um, regarding heat but in general I thought right now it's not that cold and in the morning 
yeah, it was a bit chilly, but not much, like I was not freezing or anything, but I could feel that slowly the time was coming that I have to change something up. Now, thanks for watching another episode of Prepare for the Wild. I was really enjoying this, testing out gear, getting ready for the season, having my first night out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned maybe something. I definitely learned something. And we see each other on the next one uh, soon, hopefully, more in the forest here or in Dovefjell. Until then, stay safe. <laughs>